Hey guys, it's me, the Dark Master here, and today I'm going to be doing another prior extinction video. So I know I haven't played in a while, but for first things first, I did get Sor Poseidon, as well as Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, yeah, Diplodocus really got me this far. But. Also, for today's video, I will be showing off all the updates that should be happening tomorrow. So, here is the Argentinosaurus. He's 20 meters. He's supposed to be where that, like, red dot is. So. And this is Shantosaurus compared to Camarasaurus. That's the models. Also, this is Dino Dinosuchus compared to the Diplodocus model. And here are all of the Argentinosaurus or Camarasaurus skins. Pretty sure it's Camarasaurus. And here's the, another Shantosaurus. Some of the work, though, is actually really nice. The Chantosaurus looks super nice as well, as you can see. There's a lot of, like, Chantosaurus posts. But also, um, the price for Chantosaurus is, like, way higher than, um, Sora Poseidon, so... I might, I think they might bite buff Sora Poseidon's price. And also the Dinosuchus price is also a lot, same as the Argentinosaurus. But now they're making the new um, Apatosaurus model as well as the new Trike model. And this is how Argentinosaurus looked when it's done. And this is the mature compared to elder. So this is the elder Argentino. This is the mature one. Also, they're having achievements now to get like certain dinosaurs. Yeah, this is how the Argentinosaurus looks when it's finalized. Okay, also they're working on, they were working on the new Anki and the new Acro, and the Dilophosaurus, same as the Parasaurolophus. They finished the Anki, and the Acro. So this is how the Anki ended up looking. And here's how the Acro ended up looking. Also this is the first ever model of the Dinosuchus, which looks nice. And also, Amber Shards will now spawn around the map to encourage people for exploring. And it could give you 1,000 to 2,000 Amber per each Amber Shard that you find. But also, this is the Dinosuchus with the Chemo Blender. And this is how the Dinosuchus looks. And this is its, um, it's its, um, idle animation. And this is how it looks in the water. Also, there's the, uh, boosts for achievements that like achievements can give you boosts but also this is how some of the shant skins will look I really like the green shant skins they look very nice but anyways for the rest of the video guys I'll be showing you guys how good it is for Sword Poseidon to be an amber grinding dinosaur
So as you can see here, I'm the Sword of Poseidon. Oh jeez, all these trees are eaten. Gosh, I think. Yeah, they also had a tiny glitch where the models weren't moving. And it happened to me, so I couldn't get that fixed. And that's why I didn't post a video, like, yesterday or the day before. Because Roblox, like, made a new script code. Let me just eat all these trees. Some of these trees are super hard to reach in the plains. So in my opinion, it's easier to play with Sword Poseidon in the forest. Anyways, I'll show you the attacks for Sword Poseidon. So he has the tail slap. He also has the kick. As well as the mega stomp. And this is how the roar sounds like. Yet, to be honest, it's super loud. Probably the loudest roar in the game. Jeez, there's still a lot of trees here that people never ate, so I'm probably gonna eat them. Okay, I'm glad though that I could reach the bottom of this tree, so I could actually eat the whole tree this time. But yeah, at the start of the video, I think I had like, either like 5,900 or 6,500, and now I'm at 6,781, so that's pretty nice. But also, um, Sword Poseidon, this is the Rainforest skin, wait no, this is the normal skin for Sword Poseidon, this is how it looks. There's also like three, no, six or seven different skins for the Sword Poseidon, which they all look nice. My favorite in personal is the Rainforest one. Yeah, as you can see, there's so much more trees in this forest, so it's a lot easier to be Sword Poseidon in the forest than in the grasslands. Oh jeez, it's Pearl versus Suko. I think the Pearl won. I'm not too sure though. Yeah, it's very easy to get food to Sword Poseidon. It's just not easy when there's so much other Sword Poseidons, which is usually the case. Which, yeah, you also do not want to be on this frozen ice as Sword Poseidon. Because as soon as it turns to summer or spring again, all the ice legit disappears. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that Puro is still chasing the Suko. But yeah, Sword Poseidon is super duper slow. 
That's the only downside. Once I get a drink though, I'll show you guys T-Rex. Your T-Rex pretty, it's pretty unique. It doesn't too, have too much stamina, but it's fast enough to catch Trike and Edmonto. But in Monto and a Trike could easily kill a Rex if the Rex is a bad player. Where so far I never died as Rex before. But most players are like usually feared of taking on T-Rex. So that's usually why most people don't fight T-Rex players. But yeah, this is the drinking animation for Sora Poseidon. pretty nice but uh, if you menu sometimes as a dinosaur on ice and then you spawn back in you like spawn under the ground sometimes so I'm just going to quickly get off the ice when I'm menuing but yeah that's really how Sora Poseidon works you get a lot of amber super fast But yeah, these are all the skins, so this is the albino skin, the molestic skin, the boreal, the temperate, the tropical, the alpine, the swamp, the grassland, and also the rainforest. Yeah, the rainforest and grassland are my favorite skins. Didn't mean to click on Allosaurus. But yeah, this is the T-Rex. He has many skins. This is the Jurassic Park skin. This is the coastal skin. This is the boreal. This is the apex. And that's the wetlands. Here, let me just show you the normal T Rex skin. So, yeah, this is how the normal T Rex skin looks like. I'm, I may as well be the apex Rex. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of food on the ground here. I wonder what killed all of this. Oh, there's a Suko. That's probably what killed it. Yeah. A lot of you guys probably been wanting me to showcase Rex. So yeah, this is really how Rex is. The walking animation is very nice and smooth. Oh jeez, I didn't notice that sword beside him. May as well have my night vision on to be careful. Yeah, this is the roar for T-Rex. <laughs> and this is the idol for T-Rex. The idol for T-Rex is quite nice because he sometimes like s looks around and then like shakes his head a tiny bit. But this is the first attack, the simple bite. Like that. This is the second attack. It's like... Because this is the first bite. This is the second, so the second's more of a straight bite. And then the third attack is a headbutt and then a bite. So yeah, T-Rex is really unique as a dinosaur. It can't take on stuff like Sword Poseidon, but it could take on stuff like Diplodocus. I think Diplodocus below, anything Diplodocus below it could take on. Jeez, there's uh... Albino, Giga, 
don't really want to mess with that. So. He's been wasting all his stamina, so I'm pretty sure I'm faster. Now there's a Dinochirus there. I don't really want to fight the Elp Molestic Giga. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.